All right, what's up, y'all? Holy crap. That's a pretty big 10-pointer. I'm back in Atlanta. Oh, that's the three-legged deer with the big brow tines. Look at the box coming through here. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. So I'm back in Atlanta and I've came back to get my stand and everything set up. Um, the rut is hightailing it up here. I've got some attracts with me. I got my stand. I'm gonna get everything set up. Got a big 10 pointer right here, a big eight pointer right here. Um, I'm not sure that I'll shoot this deer or not, but no, he needs another year, but he's got a broke leg. So look at all this chasing going on. He needs another year, but he's got a bad broke leg. Left knee has a big old um, knot taken out of it. Another buck right here. And y'all wonder why in the world I like to hunt in the suburbs. I've already killed the big woods deer. Now it's time for a city deer. So I'm gonna get my stand hung in here. I'm looking for one or two Pacific deers. These big, heavy, wide eight, and uh, with a with a split on the top, and another big wide eight. He might come in, and you're, there's no telling what else might show up up here. So I'm gonna grab the stand, get it set up. I hope y'all enjoy this episode right here because it should be awesome. Let's go. All right, y'all. I've got the stand hung. It's way up there. I had to get up over this foliage right here to be able to shoot down. So I'm running a Novix on this set because that's what I had in the garage. And I've got covert camera right there. And I've got another one, but I'm gonna take this attracts. If y'all haven't heard of this, corn, peanuts, and soybeans, it's an absolute killer. So I'm gonna take this attracts and spread it. And what my goal is here, it's the rut. I mean, they are rocking and rolling. Y'all saw all the deer a little while ago, they were in this block. Well, they've gone. There's nothing in this block right now, but when they come back through here, they're gonna find the feed and they'll stay here in this block a lot longer. And what does that mean? Big bucks, big bucks follow the does. The big bucks are not here to eat this corn, even though they might, but they're more interested in the does. So my, my job right now is to feed the does, keep them here, get that big buck showing up, try to get a shot at him. Um, I've also made mock scrape here on this fallen tree. And then this is an old scrape that I made last year. And you guys can see, I duct taped everything on this limb to hold it down to the proper angle. So when they are hammering it, and you can see there's the set is right up there. It's a, it's a fair amount of woods in here. I mean, it's not, it's not loaded with houses, but I mean, I can see houses around me for sure. So um, I'm gonna get them fed up with the tracks and then uh, we'll get out of here and let the camera do the work. Probably be back in the morning. Um, the camera's not gonna catch everything. You've gotta be in the tree. So that's my plan right now. Feed them, run the cameras just to kind of see what's going on. I'm gonna run two cameras and then uh, hop, in, uh, hop in the tree and give it a watch. All right, good morning, everybody. This is my first sit in Atlanta this year. Uh, my shooter showed yesterday afternoon about five o'clock. First time he showed in the daylight yet. Not a monster, but a deer that I definitely would love to kill. It's like 20 inches inside. Old, had some good footage of him last year. Just now being able to do my interview. 28 degrees, I think it's 
November 21st, something like that. Uh, I've already seen about 15. I've got some amazing footage. Called in a really nice buck.
All right, y'all, I'm back in for an afternoon sit. It's um, Tuesday afternoon. It's gotten a lot warmer, but he showed at um, 5 p.m. two days ago and 6 p.m. yesterday. So if he can split the difference and pull 5.30 today, that'd be great. Um, legal shooting light is like 6.02 up here where I'm at. All right, y'all, I'm doing something I usually never do. You're gonna think I'm crazy. It's 1.45 p.m. the day after Thanksgiving. Um, my shooter showed up this morning at 8.32 a.m. walking right in front of my stand. Um, I don't believe he's bedded too far. I can see everything in here. I've already glassed it before I came in. Um, I refed the tracks um, down in the leaves and around where I think he's been feeding. I did not have a camera on that. I do now, sort of. But um, I'm in here early. It's hot. It rained last night a good bit, and it was supposed to rain until lunch today, and it really did not. So I should have got up and came this morning. My fault. But um, I'm praying that he's going to come this afternoon. It looked like he was following one of my does, and I got a bunch of does that feed here, and she may have just come in heat, and if that's the case, I think he walked out this corridor between all these houses and down to some water. And I think he's laying down there and I'm praying that he's going to get up and come back. All right, good morning, guys. It's early. It is, well, it's not really that early for some people, but 6 a.m. Uh, this is my fifth sit. It is November the 28th. It's cold. Um, my buck has been gone for three days, and he, I got wind that he was locked down on a doe um, about half a mile away, and then last night or yesterday afternoon, he showed back up at 
um, about 15 minutes after dark. And then he came back in again about an hour after that and about an hour after that. And I woke up throughout the night. He was there at 1 a.m. again at like 4 a.m. So what that is, is that covert camera, having these cell cameras in there, and I've actually got three cameras in there now over this little acre, is telling me um, when he's in. So he was through breeding that doe, I feel like, and now he's trying to find another doe in my area. It's loaded. So I feel like he's in there. And I came up here early. I'm fixing to slip in now. It doesn't get light till like 645, but I'm going to slip in. And there's deer on my camera right now, so I know I'm fixing to run deer off, and I'm praying he's not one of them. So, this could be the morning. Y'all stick with me. Let's go.
Jesus. Oh, my homeowner was out at the garage watching the whole time. He did. Dinosaur's down. Wow, what a morning. Holy cow. Dinosaur's down. On my fifth sit. Thank you, Lord, for everything you do for me. Thank you for your gospel this morning. Thank you for the ride. Thank you for my wife talking to me last night, saying settle down and give it to him and be still. I have not been doing that. Life is a struggle. Thank you, Lord. Mm. G5 Mega Meat. I put out a bag of the tracks down here this morning, just hoping the scent would just just capture him and I had bucks chasing and running and grunting going everywhere and he shows up behind me comes by me like 15 yards I bleh, I tried to stop him and there was one limb in my way and y'all I just can't risk it so he went down below the house looped back around came back down the dam came straight to the feed and I don't know if the camera got him or not but that I wasn't waiting I'm shaking like a leaf I gotta call my baby uh, thank you. Mm. That's a city deer. Got the country deer, got the city deer. She's just now getting up to take Jaden to school. She's not going to answer. Y'all may think that these city deer are like super simple. They're not. Um, there are plenty of deer around me all the time, but nothing like trying to target that one deer. In this case, the dinosaur buck is down. This is the deer we came in here to target. I could have shot plenty of other 130 inch deer, but this is the guy that I wanted to get right here. He was my goal. And he'll come in here for like, three or four days and out three or four days he'll no he'll come in here he'll hang around for a day out three or four in out for three or four and all the pictures I have of him are nighttime except for Friday morning raining 8 32 a.m. he comes strolling through here and I'm like kill figure the only morning I couldn't go because it was raining my camera equipment so this morning and he fell right on my property too <laughs> You are an awesome God. Thank you, Lord. Oh man, I wish my daughter, I mean, let me, let me try my daughter. Maybe she's up, she gets up early. Shaking so bad. Hey baby. Hi. Hi, I just killed the dinosaur buck. I just killed the dinosaur buck. What do you mean by that? I got a buck named the dinosaur. <laughs> the big wide one I'm hunting in Atlanta. Yeah? Yeah, I, I just killed him. Cool. Where's mom? Um, she's in the kitchen making eggs for you. Go, go in there with her right now. Okay, okay. Whew, what a rush. <laughs> All right, honey. Got him, baby. <laughs> The dinosaur is down. Great, that's so good. <sighs> yes. 
sorry. I'm, I'm running out the door right now. It's Aiden. I know. I just wanted to call you. I tell you. Yay. I'm looking at him. He's uh, he's about 45 yards dead, laying there. Oh, that's awesome. <sighs> Shaking like a leaf. <laughs> Congratulations. I thank, love you. thank you so much for my talk last night and settling me down and calming me down. This morning, I listened to the music on the way up here. It's awesome. Yep, he is. I love you. Love you God, dog. All the emotions you go through getting this done. A lot of you are probably like, oh, Jay, it's just a city deer. Even on my intro, it looks so easy. They're just all around me, but it's not easy. I'm just in the midst of a whole lot of deer. But you spend so, many, so much time, hours, feeding and running cameras and setting the right set and driving and driving and such sacrifice at home oh. oh praise Jesus okay okay prime in line three mega meat that combo is crazy thank you Lord and the covert camera running that camera told me that he was in here last night because you showed up two or three times and I was supposed to take Jaden to school and I said Kyla can you please take him in the morning I've got to get down I've got to go after this deer he's in there he's been gone for four days he's in here I think he's gonna show and that's the way a cell camera works if you don't use them that's fine understandable if you don't feed fine that's understandable I love it all and I just smoked a giant. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Let's go. Let's go look at him, y'all. Let's go. Okay, we just got down. I'm gonna walk over here. I can see him laying here, so it's not like I gotta hide that. But let me show y'all. Covert camera. Covert camera. This is the attracts feed that I pulled out this morning right here and that is what he came right through here and stopped right here and I shot him I mean I shot him with his nose in it pretty much and look at there that is a G5 mega meat broadhead and that is what a G5 mega meat broadhead does if you guys don't know about them that is a ridiculous broadhead I mean oh my god you think he was bleeding? Holy cow. Two testaments right there. If you've ever seen a broadhead do any damage, it does not get any more than that right there. I'm just going to walk straight in. He didn't go but about 40 yards. Absolutely incredible. This is the entire blood trail, y'all. I mean, the entire blood trail. All the way through. Stumbling. Unreal. Unthinking real. And then boom. Here he is. Let's see if I can get a get my camera set up here. Thank you for playing the game, old boy. Thank you, Lord, for what a beautiful animal. Thank you for all my friends that were involved and watching him and helping me figure it out. <sighs> yep, that's him. Holy cow. That's him. The dinosaur. Like I said, he ain't gonna score with a doggone, but that ain't what it's about. Well, I say doggone. This is Georgia. Absolute toad of a deer, y'all. If I can him up just a minute, YouTube will get mad at me. A little bit better. Look at that. Yes, sir. Oh, man, what a tank. 20, over 20 inches wide. 
and he is a mainframe eight. Looks like he busted that point off. He had a point there earlier in the year. And then he busted this one right here off. So technically he's just a big eight. I mean, that's probably an inch, but he broke some stuff lately too. Man. Oh, God is good. Y'all yeah, don't forget about my, um, this prime bow, this prime inline bow right here. These G5 Mega Meats have been awesome, but I'm giving away my prime this year on December the 20th. All you have to do is be a subscriber of 4610 Productions on the YouTube channel. And I prefer that you like, share, and subscribe, but or like and share, uh, but you have to be a subscriber to have a chance to win the bow. And I'm just gonna put all my subscribers in a pot, computer's gonna draw it, and I'm gonna send my, my bow. Mud, dirt, and all. It's all coming to the house. I'm not even gonna clean it up. So you get blood, you get mud, you get a spot hog site, you get a CB Torx hunting stabilizer, um, Hamsky rest, and this G5 quiver. And this is right here is what that, that, what that bow will do. And I've already killed another 130 and another 140. And then this deer right here is every bit of 140. Man, y'all, I absolutely love this stuff. So here's my city deer. I've got my, I got my two country deer this year. Here's my city deer. I told y'all I love to do it all. I love to do it every which way possible. I love to hunt over feed. I love to not hunt over feed. I love to hunt the city. I love to hunt the country. I love to hunt public. Man, I just love these animals. I love chasing them. I'm so thankful that turkey season and deer season do not run together because I would have a tough time because that feeling and that emotion I just had right there in my wife, that's something special. There again, if y'all are new to the channel, 4610 Productions, Psalm 4610, be still and know that I am God. And I have not been doing a very good job of that myself lately. You look at me and you be like, man, that dude's got it made, man. Look at his Facebook, look at his Instagram. Everything's perfect in his life. He's got a beautiful wife and kids. It ain't that easy, y'all. I, I get up, I put my pants on just like y'all do, and I struggle and I pray, and I struggle, and I pray, and I struggle, and I pray. And that's how you defeat struggle. You be still and you give it to him. And this is a major reminder, a major wake up call for me right here to let him have it. I love y'all, let's go.